Come Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, the heavenly gift of God most high, the font of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above and sweet anointing from above. Name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace and peace of God our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Father. Hope you're enjoying this cool weather. It's a very welcome relief. And good morning to all of you who are still at home and haven't put your noses outside the door yet. We're so happy to have you with us via live stream. Today we've been asked to pray for the souls in purgatory, Elena B. Villarreal for health, for the eternal rest of J. Perez, Henry Trevino, Mary Mendoza, and Mary Louise Garcia. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us now call to mind our sins. I confess yes, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for me, me to the Lord, the Lord our, God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, what more shall I say? I have not time to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who by faith conquered kind kingdoms, did what was righteous, obtained the promises, they closed the mouths of lions, put out raging fires, escaped the devouring sword, out of weakness, they were made powerful, became strong in battle, and turned back foreign invaders. Women received back their dead through resurrection. Some were tortured and would not accept deliverance. Some were tortured in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others endured mockery, scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, sought in two, put to death at sword's point. They went about in skins of sheep or goats, needy, afflicted, tormented. The world was not worthy of them. 
They wandered about in deserts and on mountains, in caves and in crevices in the earth. Yet, all these, though approved because of their faith, did not receive what had been promised. God had foreseen something better for us, so that without us, they should not be made perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Let, Let your, your hearts, hearts take, take comfort, comfort, all who all hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence. From the plottings of men, you screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let, Let your, your hearts, hearts take comfort, comfort all who hope, hope in, in the Lord. Lord. Blessed be the Lord, whose wondrous mercy he has shown me in a fortified city. Let, Let your, your hearts, hearts take comfort, comfort all who hope, hope in, in the Lord. Lord. Once I said in my anguish, I am cut off from your sight, yet you heard the sound of my pleading when I cried out to you. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones, and Lord, and the Lord will keep those who are constant, but more than requite, than requites those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of the Genezarenes. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tombs who had an unclean spirit met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with chains. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus at a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you, by your God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name, there are many of us. And he, ple and he pleaded earnestly with him, to drive them out and away from the ter their territory. Now a large herd of swine were feeding, near, feeding there on a hillside, and they were pleading with him. So he sent us into the swine, let us enter them. And he let them and the unclean spirits come out and enter the swine. The herd was about 2,000, rushed down a steep bank into the sea where they were drowned. The swine herds ran around, ran away, and reported the incident to the town and throughout the countryside. And the people came to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught at the sight of the man who had been possessed by legion, sitting there clothed in, a, in, in his right mind. And they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incidents, incident explained to them what had happened. 
to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting out, getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him, but Jesus would not permit him, but told him to, instead, go home, go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord had, has had pity on you and has he done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him, and all were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The response to the psalm was, let your hearts take comfort in all who hope in the Lord. This is what the readings are about, the first reading from Hebrews. The writer of Hebrews is telling us about our ancestors in faith and how they had true belief in God. They weren't familiar with God the Son, but they knew that there was someone who was their creator. They had this instinct, if nothing else, of this belief that God was there. And then God showed himself in various ways. The way he did this was by performing certain miracles. In the Old Testament, we call them natural miracles. For instance, crossing the Reed Sea, uh, the stone that gave them water in the desert, uh, the place that they were finally found to live in, Canaan. All these things come from, from God, and these people understood it. Then we come into the New Testament, we begin seeing something we don't really hear about in the Old Testament. That's exorcism. And we see that happen several times. This is one of the, probably the most popular exorcisms because it doesn't happen to a Jewish person. It happens to a man who's a Gentile. We know this because they're swine, swine herders. Jews would have nothing to do with pigs or pork. So they had to be Gentiles, and they had to be in the, in the area of the seven, in the ten, area of the ten city, in the area of the Decapolis. And here we see that the, Jesus comes to them, and you wonder why? Why would Jesus go to people who are not Jews when he came to be the savior of the Jewish people? That was the whole idea of the Messiah. But now we begin reading at scripture at a different level. We can read scripture at the first level. I call it the first level or we just read it as we're reading a story, or we're reading a novel or something like that. And that's good. But there is a second, third, and fourth level. And the second level is we read, for instance, the passage we have today about the Jared the Saracens and about the man who is possessed by an evil spirit, but not a evil spirit, by a number of evil spirits. We see that Jesus has something. He has compassion. He has compassion on this man because people think that he's really insane because of the things that he does. For us, the reading this at a second or third level, we say to ourselves, what does this really mean? You know, are there exorcisms performed today? There probably are. But what does this mean even more than that for you and I as simply Catholic Christians? It tells us that we can go to Jesus and ask to have our sins forgiven. Our sins will be forgiven. And as it says here with the Gerasene, the maniac, we see that something happens to him. He goes back to his natural form. He goes back to that being that was created by God. And so as we begin the season of Lent, or we will in two weeks, think about what I'm going to do for Lent. Many times people ask me, what do I do for Lent? I don't give up anything. I don't have that much to give up, but I do something else. I say that I'm going to do something else and the thing I'm gonna do is something else is make myself more present to other people and to help people out. That's what we see here, that Jesus goes to even those people who didn't know him or weren't even expecting him. And he did something for them. He gave them himself and he showed who he was by the, by the exorcism they performs with the uh, Janeiro. Jerusalem the Maniac. So as we go now to our, our, we begin our journey in two weeks to Lent, think about not what you're going to give up, but what you're going to do. Amen? Amen. Please stand.
Letting our hearts take comfort and hope in the Lord, we entrust to his goodness and mercy in all our needs that the church proclaim the good news may through the power of the Holy Spirit bring many more to faith in her sheltering arms. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That civic leaders may be guided by their actions by Jesus' example of servant leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who endure mental or physical affliction may be comforted by God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Spirit of Christ may be a uniform, unifying force and for this faith community of St. Dominic's during the Black History Month, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who have died may receive God's promise of resurrection in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the sick, especially those suffering with COVID, those who are suffering with cancer, those who are undergoing treatments this week, we pray for those who are on dialysis and those who have heart issues especially, for those who care for them and for those who are doing their best to heal them, that God will work through their doctors and nurses and specialists to bring them good healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. And then thanksgiving for this beautiful day and that we will make the most of this nice I guess we could say spring weather. Pray for all our brothers and sisters up north who are facing a foot or two feet of snow today, and we pray for their safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, and it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you. And Lord, wash away our iniquity, cleanse us from all our sins, and pray, my friends, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and change them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It's our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ. With the angels and saints, we praise you as we say, Holy, Holy, <clears throat> Holy Lord. God of God hosts, of heaven, and heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he, is he who, who comes in the name, in the name of, the Lord. of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. And make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and again, giving thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Michael and Gustavo, our bishops, clergy and people everywhere. Remember your servants, Mary Luis Garcia, the souls in purgatory, Henry Travino, Jay Perez, and Mary Mendoza, whom you have called from this life to yourself. And grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and that we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we pray, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our lives, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, spirit. your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of our faith. Peace be with you, Father. Peace. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God and Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy, worthy should enter under, under my, roof. my roof. Only I say the word, word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. We come to share our story. We come to break the bread. We come to know our rising from the dead. We come as your people, we come as your own, united with each other, love finds a home. We are called to heal the broken, to be hope for the poor. We are called to feed the hungry at our door. We come to share our story. We come to break the bread. We come to know our rising from the dead. Bread of life and cup of promise in this meal we all are one in our dying and our rising may your kingdom come we come to share our story we come to break the bread 
We come to know our rising from the dead. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, our Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. <coughs> Now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today.